Saturday at 6.03 p.m., the LHC ended its first full period of operation in 2009 after 26 days. Stable beams were circulating in the machine and collisions were recorded at the world record energy of 2.36 tera electron volt by all the experiments. Let's take a look at the highlights of this successful high energy run in Atlas and CMS. Yeah, it is the last night here. It has been many long nights here. So the LHC um, its plan is for tonight to ramp the energy up to um, the 1.18 TeV per beam as they did now two nights ago again. And then they also want to this night do what they call a squeeze which is to focus the beams um, at CMS. And so we want to capture these events. Are we on internal clocks? Not yet. Can you give us three? So we're recycling the car and we we're going to be able to see events. Okay, good. Okay. Good. That's nice. No, no, these are, no, these, are, these, are these are cold. These are very nice way to uh, finish the run. Uh, we only started about three and a half uh, weeks ago. Uh, very good progress has been made both by the LHC accelerator and the experiment. Uh, and uh, CMS also uh, made very good progress. Uh, so uh, we demonstrated uh, that we could take uh, uh, data efficiently and that we could analyze the data quite rapidly. So we are in fact preparing uh, the ground for a rapid uh, restart uh, next year after the technical stop that we're going to have over Christmas. We first saw our first collisions at 1.2 TeV uh, on December 8, I think. Uh, there were actually three minutes of, uh, of collisions, let's say, in parasitic mode. Yeah. So while the accelerator people were basically adjusting and preparing things, uh, we were, since we were taking data already and we were trying to catch anything which might be interesting. So we managed the first time to catch uh, 120 about uh, collisions at 2.36 TeV. Then again last weekend, in the, I think it was around the 10th, uh, we caught about uh, 20,000 collisions. Now there was a, a longer time period with uh, the collisions again at uh, higher energy. Uh, right now we haven't, uh, because there's been uh, very little sleep and so on, a lot of things happening, a lot of decisions very, really, very quickly on the fly. So uh, I think we, we need a vacation to see, to actually see a little bit what happened. Some, some people actually don't know anymore what day it is and, and so on. So, so it's been uh, very interesting. Basically it's been fantastic. We, start, we have done everything we hope to do. Both beams went in rather easily. We captured the beams, we collided the beams, we accelerated the beams, we declared stable beam physics, we got the machine protection system working and working well, we got the collimation in, and I think it was an absolutely phenomenal 26 days, which I personally will never forget. The world's most powerful accelerator has now been put in standby mode and will restart in February 2010. In the meantime, Happy New Year.